Our muscle car of the week this week is a beautiful 1969 Chevy Camaro. It's a convertible, but it also has the 375 horsepower, 396, and a four speed. I think one of the first things you notice about this 69 RS SS big block Camaro is the color. Uh, it's called frost green and it's, uh, it's really clean looking. Some of the green cars don't look that great, but I think this particular color, um, it really stands out and especially when you couple it with the black convertible top, the black interior and the black stripe, uh, it's just a, a sharp looking car. Only about 8% of 69 Camaros were done in this frost green and the stripe package is called the D90 Sport Stripe. Uh, on the street today it's kind of referred to as the hockey stick stripe. There's kind of a neat fact about this stripe in the sense that it is half paint and half tape originally. The stripe on the fender was painted on but when you got to the door it was actually a vinyl tape stripe. So most of the time if you see a restored car the stripes are painted on the whole way because it looks a lot better, but to be 100% you know, correct, it has to be painted on the fender, but tape on the door. 69 Camaros are always very popular, and they made a ton of these cars. Um, the interesting thing is that the 69 production model year uh, is known as being a long year. They started making 69 models in the middle of 1968, and there was some delays in the second generation Camaro that was designed to come out for 1970. So 69 Camaros were produced for you know, a long time throughout the end of 68 all the way through 1969 uh, before the 1970 models came out. And that's one of the reasons why there are so many of these cars. And this car is cool because it has basically all the desirable options for 1969. I mean, first of all, it's a convertible, so that makes it cool. It is a super sport, an SS car. And the SS was a performance package. It consisted of the hood, uh, the disc brakes, a 12 volt rear end, um, and of course a special engine. You could get an SS with a small block in it, but this one has the L78 396 motor and also the four speed transmission. This Camaro SS also has the RS package, which means it's got the Rally Sport hideaway headlamps in the front, uh, the RS taillights in the back, which put the reverse lights in the lower valance. Uh, it's got the rear wing with the blacked out tail pan. And because it's a convertible in the trunk, you have the cocktail shakers, which are an oil-filled spring device that basically act like a shock absorber, but for the body. We don't have a rigid top on this being a convertible, and they found that by adding these, it kind of dampens some of the harmonics and the, the uh, uh, flexing action that convertibles would get when you go down the road. These make a more smooth ride. But one of the coolest features on this car, it's kind of a silly thing, but it's something you don't see every day, is a rear window defrost on a convertible. There's a vent in the back seat there and that blows warm air on the rear window and keeps it clean uh, and free of frost. There's a very cool two position switch on the dashboard. One side is for the convertible top and the other side is to turn on that rear defrost. But with a 375 horsepower 396 under the hood, I don't recommend driving this car in the snow. Another interesting thing about that RS package are the headlight washers. If you look really closely, just above the hidden headlights, you'll see two little squirt nozzles kind of hanging down from the uh, grill surround, and those are a headlight washer. That headlight washer is a really neat little option that a lot of people don't remember, but this car has them. Other elements of the RS package include the special RS taillights, uh, and then there's some blacked out trim, the rear tail pan, and the door sills are blacked out. In addition to the blacked out parts, you also had some bright work on the RS package. There were RS badges in the grill, uh, also on the steering wheel. Um, there was an RS emblem on the rear panel as well. Uh, on the quarter panels, you had the simulated vents, the chrome trim on the quarter panels. And then you also had the chrome wheel openings. Those are all part of that RS package. If you look closely at those taillights, there's also some bright trim on the taillight lens itself. Again, another RS item. When you look at all the elements that comprise an RS package, it seems like a bargain because it was only $132 or so to add that to the Camaro package. 
Uh, you can make an RS out of a standard 69 Camaro today, either using original parts or reproduction, but it's going to cost you a lot more than $132. So the RS SS Camaro looked really cool, but more importantly, it also performed very well. And the L78 396 cubic inch big block is a big part of the reason why. If you look at this engine, it, it, it's very basic because the big block, you couldn't get air conditioning. Um, but this one is a perfectly correct restoration with the smog pump. Um, this car has power front disc brakes and power steering. But other than that, you don't have much as far as options under the hood. The L78 in this car is an iron head version. Uh, aluminum heads were an option. Uh, it made 375 horsepower at 5,600 RPM, 415 pound-feet of torque at 3,600 RPM. So in a, a smaller, lightweight car like the Camaro, especially with a four-speed, you had the option to uh, burn the tires completely off if you wanted to. I mean, these things, they drove hard. Other items on the L78 uh, include an 11 to 1 compression ratio, it's a four-bolt main block, uh, free-flowing exhaust manifolds, and this one, of course, is coupled to a Muncie M22 four-speed manual transmission. Factory-installed big blocks in Camaros sometimes look a little bit offset because they had to use special engine frame stands to mount this thing on the subframe to get everything to fit. Uh, there's obviously tight clearance between the exhaust manifolds and the steering box and, of course, to get the hood to close. This one's got the SS hood with the uh, ice tray scoops, as they call them. Gives it a little bit more clearance, but not too much. Inside, this is about the fanciest Camaro you could get. Black bucket seats. It's got uh, wood grain trim on the dash and on the console. Uh, it's just a, a nice looking car. This Camaro is a ton of fun to drive, as you could tell by some of the footage we got earlier. And you can learn more about it on our website at musclecartheweek.com. We also have a Facebook page where you can share cars like these with your friends. And our YouTube channel offers a subscription button where it's free to subscribe to get every episode of Muscle Car of the Week.